When I solve a math problem, I feel love, happy. I'll call Super Turd. <laughs> Springfest might appear into Prodigy at any time. What's going on everyone? One Dr. Genius here and welcome to another episode of Prodigy Breaking News. This must be the one trillionth episode by now. Anyways, breaking news. Prodigy sent us something in our mailbox, which is survey. When you solve a math problem, you feel... Like I have to go to the bathroom. I ate some pretty good food and I like it. I stubbed my toe and I'm pretending that it doesn't hurt. Why did he even send me this? What? I never answer questions. Which of the following? <laughs> Which of the following do I select? Hmm. Why? <laughs> but seriously, what is this meant to mean? They should just feel like happy. Okay. I, I, this question doesn't make any sense if you actually look at it. Like, what are you trying to ask me? When I solve a math problem, I feel love, happy, frustrated, confused, or constipated, <laughs> or const confused or constipated. What? Uh, well, why are you asking me this question? On top of that, when work, when thinking about pro when thinking about working on math in class makes me feel like. Uh, sure. I mean, it's not too bad. When a teacher called me to answer the question, I feel like, yeah, okay, sorry, I might get all of my math questions correct, but the second you call on me, I'm like, huh, huh? Oh, wait, I need to go to the bathroom. The second, the second you call on me, I'm like, yeah, this, this basically sums up what I feel like when a teacher asks me to answer a question. Like, I might even, yeah, I have the answer correct, I've written it down and checked, and then the teacher's like, Hello, Mr. One Doctor Genius answered the question and I'm like, bruh. When I make a mistake in math, I feel... Ah, well that basically sums up the entire thing. Prodigy basically just sent us a new segment asking us how did we feel. And to be honest, those questions and the responses were quite confusing if you ask me. Hey, I wonder if Prodigy's gonna do one of those fill out the blank thingies where they ask you and then you type in what... Anyways, furthermore, as you guys can see, we're back to the arena. Let's see what's up with our favorite show of the year. The arena. Oh, crap. It's at 9. 89. Oh, no. I have to do this. I can't believe I actually have to do this. Like, doing it once is okay, I guess. Man, darn it. Oh, no. Anyways, if you look at the arena information, as you can see, you have 89 days, 19 hours, and 24 minutes remaining to complete the entirety of the arena. That should be enough to do it, and if you check on the leaderboard, it seems like that number one in this area, the, yeah, you basically have these people. You can also see their win-to-loss ratio, which is interesting. Although, to be honest, the win-to-loss ratio doesn't look like it matters much, if you're being honest, okay? And furthermore, on top of season rewards, as you can see, you still have yourself the cosmonaut, alien, and cosmic items available in shop. And really, to be honest, once you've done this once, like, do I really need to do this again? Anyways, that's one more thing, and if you look at the time, it is currently the 9th of March. What does that mean? It means we're in the middle of spring. We're at Spring Fest. Well, you guys can see where I'm going with that. Spring Fest might appear into Prodigy at any time. So keep your eyes out for that. I mean, Spring Fest would be pretty cool. Oh yes, the boring task of spinning a wheel. You know, I wouldn't be so mad if it landed on shivers, but anything else is like, no, why? Darn it! Okay, so on top of that, if you check my account, as you guys can see, if you go into the currency tab, you guys can see I have like a decent amount of every area's currency, and I have 2,900 and gold. Which, this is just the standard gold, I guess. Anyways, as you can see, I have 4 candy corn, 64 snowflakes, 157 of these fire things, 229 shivers. And as you can see, it's really all of the other currency. It's super old. Most of it. And 1,300 copper coins. Now seriously, let's check our gold quickly. Fun fact, you can check the amount of gold which you have by clicking on your character and going to view stats. As you can see, I have 65,000 gold, so there are actually two types of gold which exists in Prodigy. That's interesting. I don't know if any of you guys knew this, but there are actually two types of gold. Huh. 
Interesting. Uh, that's all interesting. So guys, as you also know that Project English has arrived, of course, I think everyone's going to get access sooner or later, so I'm waiting up for that. And these two shops are never going to appear in Prodigy. They exist here, but you can't enter them. Like, they had a sign saying, coming soon, for coming soon, but now they just don't. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be all for this Prodigy news episode i mean it is news it's meant to be a quick briefing but yeah guys that's all for this video it seems like prodigy even blocked off the route to the academy in this area i wonder what used to be over here i'm pretty sure that was how we got to our house but okay but anyways guys that's gonna be all for this video i hope you enjoyed it please do make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn that notification bell and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already i'll be catching you all next time one Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time.